everyone. I got another knife for you to check out today. And uh, this is a CRKT roll lock. It's a pretty odd one. Um, you can see in there, these are uh, translucent scales you can see through them. That's uh, actually where the knife rolls along to the lock. Um, what you do is you push it down back here, push up on the knife, and it locks up here. I bought this mostly because it's different. I mean, I don't, I've never seen any other knives like this, really. It's got a huge pocket clip, uh, tip, uh, tip up carry. It's non reversible. Um, this is definitely not a heavy use knife when you, if you feel it, you know what I mean. It feels kind of cheap, um, which it is cheap. I paid, I don't know. 12 bucks for it or something, 13 bucks. It's got some jimping here on the back, but it's, eh, I guess it's actually locks you in pretty good. But this blade does feel flimsy to me. I don't know if it's, I don't know, just, I mean, you could bend it if you push on it. Um, and it attracts fingerprints quite a bit. It's got a mirror, uh, mirror finish on it. And it is partially serrated, which I don't know if it comes in plain edge, but I wish it did because serrations on a knife like this looks kind of goofy. You know, seems like something Mayerco would do or something like that. Um, you can see it says Rolock. The number is 5212, and it's made in Taiwan. Probably can't see that, but it is. Um, to bring the blade back in, you actually release the lock right here, which is different as well. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but it releases, then you uh, pull it back, and you could uh, push the knife back in. So I mostly bought it just because it's different, pretty cool. And I'm not sure what, I mean they have the little plastic stick out of the back right here. Um, I'm not sure what that's for. I think it's just for looks. Yeah, I, don't, I don't really see a point in it. It'd probably look better without it, actually. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool knife. You could probably use it for little things around the house, but like I said, that, uh, the serrations on there kind of just take away from your cutting edge. They're, they're not sharp. <laughs> I mean, the plain edge part is sharp, but these serrations are pretty dull. They're pretty useless, but um, this knife is more for just a showpiece, just show people. Looks pretty cool. Um, see the weight on this? It's pretty light. 2.4 ounces. Blade length is. Uh, what, maybe two and three eighths with a cutting edge of two and a quarter, close to full length. Full length of the knife is um, about five and three quarters, maybe a little bit more because that plastic back there. And most of these measurements, guys, when I give them, they're I'm trying to hold the camera and take measurements, so they're not 100% accurate. So if if it uh, seems like it's a little bit off, it probably is. Um, but I mean, how accurate does it need to be? <laughs> it's just an idea. Um, here it is next to the CRKT Drifter. So if you're familiar with that, you can see the the Drifter is kind of a smaller knife, so you can see how small the roll lock is. It's, it's a really small knife. Um, here it is next to a Kershaw Needs Work, which is a great knife by the way. I'll talk about this one in the next video. But yep, if you want something just for light use or just because it's cool, I definitely recommend it for that reason, if any. But uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out. See ya.